Uh, so I, I just this is today we're the twelfth of February. I've uh, uh, big lines under my eyes. I've decided to make a vlog of this. So as you guys know or might not know, I am an ER physician and I love to ski and I have yogurt mustache. And this Hi. Is, and this is Matsuz, <laughs> my daughter, my princess. So I. <laughs> I went on a ski trip in Salt Lake City with my friend Thomas and Yannick, and it was off. awesome, gotta say it properly. It, and uh, it basically, there was not too much snow, but on the 6th and 7th, it dumped. So on the 7th, it was perfect, on the 6th, sorry, it was perfect. We had this huge snow thing, and uh, for those, we were, we were skiing up Alta, and uh, basically going down Alta uh, after the lunch break, we went off Supreme, get a little bit of slack country, went down some cliffs, some uh, uh, three zone, and then it was kind of a bowl that you had to go through pretty fast because you didn't, at the end it was pretty flat and it didn't want to pull out. So I was going really fast, my friend went to the right to me, I went to the left, and unbeknownst to me, there was a hole underneath that snow, that windblown snow. So my leg went into the hole like that. And basically it compressed and broke my tibial plateau right in the middle there. So as soon as I fell, I knew something was wrong because I, because it hurt, <laughs> basically. Uh, my friend was already down, so some people stay, uh, stop, and I told them to go get help, which they did. In the meanwhile, after five, ten minutes being uh, of crying, I have to tell you I was crying because it was really painful. Basically, got up on my four legs and it basically got up to, because I lost one of my ski that was 20 feet uphill. I went to that ski, got up to my leg, and then let out a huge cry because it hurt. I clipped the ski. I don't know why I did that, but I did. And then made my way down the mountain on my good leg, which is my right leg. And uh, well, I can, I'll give you the rest in more detail, but basically got down, called my friend, don't know how to manage, but managed to take off both boots. At that point, for some reason, me being a doctor, and you know, a doctor, we are the worst patient. Oh, I think, okay. Okay. So my name is Eric Bousséjou. Okay. Okay? <laughs> Good. All right. So uh, being a doctor, so we're the worst patient ever. I was sure I just blow my ACL, and that was just my ACL. I was sure there was nothing else. So my plan at that point, so I got both booted off, my friend was coming in, he was going to get me some sort of a brace, some crutches, I was going to go back to the condo and get my stuff, and uh, just, the ski was over, but I was gonna be able to do everything else by myself. And uh, after a couple minutes, see, seeing that my knee had tripled in size, and then I just wiggling my toe was now, painful, I decided to go to the clinic, which is right besides the the Collins chairlift at Alta. So they took me to the clinic, which is so five steps, maybe. In the clinics, I was seen by three uh, ladies that were resident in emergency medicine. So like in good hands and the doctor there was super, super nice. So they checked me and uh, everything they did to my left knee was painful, but mostly to the outside side, to this part. Okay, this part of the knee, not the inside, but this part. So it, and they were concerned about the swelling and I was, so it's like, uh, ACL seems loose, but it's hard to tell because everything's so swollen up. Let's do an x-ray. And they did the x-ray. And that was really painful because they had my, my legs feel mostly better when it's a bit flexed around 30 degrees. So they did the x-ray. And the x-ray, I 
I could see because the screen was right there and I could see that my plateau uh, was broken. So I knew I was fucked from then on. So, uh, Yannick. Yannick. Yeah, yeah. So my little girl wants you to tell you that she's making a drawing and we'll show it to you right before I hand this. So, so Yannick. Oh, it's a troll! It's a troll! It's a troll! <laughs> So Yannick helped me a lot. I owe this guy a lot, a lot, a lot. He took care of me, brought my stuff, packed everything, brought the car, look at, look at, look at the rental we had, took me back to a hotel right beside the, the airport. He took care of me basically like I was a baby. So I owe you big time, man. So next year, there's a trip on me. I owe you big time. So got back home, arrived on the 7th. So injury on the 6th, around 2 p.m. Arrived on the, changed my plane ticket. Went for first class plane ticket so that I could extend my leg. Arrived at around midnight in Montreal. Uh, gotta tell you the last 90 minutes were not fun because even in first class, that little plane, my knee was bent at 90 degree and I couldn't move it. So I, I was a dire fan. Uh, at that point, in any case, I arrived at the airport, and again, kindness of stranger, some fellow was waiting for me with a with a wheelchair, took care of me, pushed me all the way towards the the Did baggage reclaim th through custom, basically pushed the wheel up to my car because my girlfriend was Did waiting for me, but he didn't. He pushed me all the way up to my car, Did helped my girlfriend. Know? Let's move in there, okay? Okay. Yeah. Even help put my baggage into the truck. Oh. So once again, kindness of stranger. This is tattooed into my brain forever. Kindness of stranger. Papa totally. Oh, so went home, limper back to my bed. The next day, since I was injured, I had made some calls, obviously. I told them many are physicians, so called a few friends. So in the morning, I had the MRI done, the scan done, went to see the ortho specialist, uh, the knee specialist at my place, and he wasn't sure because it's, the, the plateau is minimally displaced, and if it were, was to eat like that, it would be perfect, but the chance of it moving was not zero. So in his mind, it was better for me to have the surgery but he was not the one on call that day, so I saw him at the clinic, but he wasn't, he didn't have uh, OR privileges that day, and he was gone for a couple of days, so sent me back to another ortho at the clinic, straight in the hospital, and uh, first of all, once there, we knew of another thing, being jammed in the place the night before, I had thrombophobitis, which is a clot. So I had a clot in my vein and in, in my left leg, so which made the surgery way more dangerous. And uh, he looked at my knee and said, if I was my knee, I would take a chance with it and not move it at all. And if it heals like that, you're perfect. So that was the uh, eighth. Yeah, all of that happened on the eighth. So since then I've been home. Uh, on my back, I've got this uh, pain medication, which I can't live without. It's mostly in the morning when I get up. It's really painful for me to move around, so... And I don't want to move around because I don't want that little piece of bone to displace. And uh, the other thing, I got this drug, which is a blood thinner, it's called Lovenox. So I get to stick this big of a needle into my belly every day. And this is basically what it does. See, see that bruise? That's what I think it does. So it thins out my blood so I don't die of a pulmonary embolism. So all I'm of that to say that I decided to make a- I'm gonna show you something. Yeah, just one minute, honey. I've decided to make a vlog out of this. Mm. So see, I'm going today uh, feeling okay. I hope everything goes well. Like, uh, my girlfriend's taking care of all the shit. We're at 12th, and uh, we'll see you on the next few days. Hey! Well, we met soon. Yeah. Did you know that first 
I have some spots on my leg. I got a lot of them, but it was brown in the bed. They're, they're, they're gone. They're gone? Was the, were those freckles? Maybe? No. Oh, and one more thing. My big daughter, yesterday, we had the, the tooth fairy come in. Yeah, and because <laughs> she has one tooth less. And the tooth fairy left, left, gave her some money. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for the vlog. Maybe an entry before I go to bed. <laughs> but uh, so I'll try to do this every day. All right? And uh, my girlfriend, does she want any part of that? No, 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 not, not for now. So I'm going to say bye to everybody. Okay? Bye. So this is going to be uh, me saying goodbye to you. If you like it, well, subscribe. And if not, well, don't subscribe. I'll be doing the video in any case. So sometimes it'll be funny. Sometimes it won't be. Sometimes it might be tragic. But uh, no bullshit. And uh, if you guys have questions, <laughs> any kind of question, you can write to me. And I'll do my best to answer them. This, uh, I am a French-speaking doctor, but I can manage English. Uh, so, me too. <laughs> so if you have questions in French or English, I'm good with that. So thanks again for being okay. there, and I'll see you soon. So this is the Broken Tibia Plateau at Alta Vlog, 12th of February. See ya. Salut! Alors c'est encore moi pour vous parler de Oxygen Boost, mais ça a marché à merveille. J'ai jamais été soufflé, mais ça a fait pas encore le style mon genou qui a bossé. Fait que Oxygen Boost... I don't know. See you. <laughs>